Welcome back, Cookie Jammers, to Chef Panda's Cookbook. Today we'll be covering some levels from stage 167, the Tarts and Crafts Island. So let's jump into it. Here we see a board with a lot of limited space by a lot of blockers that are removable, or objects that are removable. Uh, as you'll see, there are snack pouches which can be broken if you hit them three times, thus opening up the pancakes which you're going to need for your game objective. Um, you'll also see that they fall through the empty space, and what that can do then is you can open them up and get them onto that conveyor belt and make them easier. Uh, you also have the pretzels which have uh, three layers on them, and once you break those it opens up more board space for you, allowing for more cascades. Uh, you also notice that you have the cookie containers which can be removed by making red matches uh, and then they will eventually eliminate those cookie containers. Now the real difficulty comes in this is getting more honey on the board. Um, and what you're going to have to do is, is attack the two honey jars that are surrounded by the conveyor belt and put honey onto the conveyor belt as it moves around uh, allowing you to make matches or matches will be made themselves because uh, the honey is on a movable device. This really comes down to once you open up the board playing the bottom and playing the conveyor belt because that's where most of your objectives are going to more than likely end up being uh, and taking advantage of the objects that you have down there you know, constantly breaking those cookie jars, or not cookie jars, but uh, the honey jars to put more honey on the board and finishing off those last couple pretzels which are in a tough spot on the bottom. Uh, once you do that, you should pretty much ride this level to victory. Now, it's not an easy level and it took us a couple times to beat it ourselves, uh, so you gotta stay patient, um, make really advantageous moves and really use that conveyor belt to your advantage. Uh, and really make it do work for you. So let's move on to the next board. This level, we see we have a waffle with more cookie containers. This time, instead of red, they're orange and purple. So by making those orange matches and purple matches, you will collect and remove those containers. Another thing to notice is they have object spinners underneath them, which is going to cause more movement to the board, uh, along with the conveyor belt, allowing you to really let the board help play itself and help you make extra moves that you weren't intending on making. Another thing you'll notice there the spaces above the cookie containers are actually spaces where pieces are going to fall through. So again, making matches on the bottom uh, is going to allow you to kind of determine where your pieces are going to end up. So you can really, really have to pay attention to uh, when you make a match on the bottom, what's actually going to fall through and how that's going to help you and help you progress your board. Uh, one of the traps and pitfalls in this is kind of going after the chocolates. Uh, you don't really need to because again, there's so much movement around them that uh, with good cascades and uh, really lining up your moves, the chocolates will eventually just break almost by themselves. You will require a couple moves to really finally break through them, but for the most part, uh, you know, the real, the real strategy is opening up those cookie jars early. Uh, when you do that, it really helps the board play itself a little bit. Your last several moves on this board are gonna be really just kind of mopping up those last waffles that are on the board. Uh, getting those last couple matches that you're going to need uh, may take a little bit of time so again you have to really watch what's going to come next using the conveyor belt and the object spinners and where pieces are going to end up and this will allow you to open up your board and get those last few waffles you need to win the game. This concludes our walkthrough of stage 167 Tarts and Crafts. Thank you for joining us. If you have any questions on any of the levels you saw or any others in the game, please ask on our Facebook page or in the comments section below. I hope you join us next time on another one of Chef Panda's cookbook tutorials. And remember, keep on jamming!